if you thought the last one was hard, this one here is even going to be harder. Let's see how this one is going to go. We have a differentiable function f again, and we need to, uh, well, we're given some information about it. f of 1 is 2, f of 2 is 3, and we're given some information about the value of f prime at a few points as well. We define capital F of x to be f at x times f at x times f of x, and we need to find f prime of 1. So let's try to dive into this and see what happens. Um, f prime of x. Well, I'm going to ignore all of this stuff here and use a chain rule. This is the outermost function, so it's going to be f prime and all of that stuff multiplied by the derivative of that stuff. Let's fill it in. x, f, x, f of x another bracket there. Same thing here. Alright, so that's our first step. This part is actually done. We still have to work on this part though. Now when we come to that, what's going to happen? Well, let me write this down and then I'll talk about it. Notice we have a product here, right? We have one factor here and one factor here. So let's use product rule. I'm even going to use square brackets here, I think. It's better. So the derivative of this first factor is just 1 times this factor left alone. Plus, now x is going to be left alone and we have to do the derivative of this part. Well, the derivative of this part, which is right here, is kind of similar to what we did at the very beginning, except uh, it's a little bit smaller, right? I'm ignoring this x f of x right here. This is the part I'm ignoring. And so it's going to be f prime of that times the derivative of that. So f prime at that times the derivative of that. And then we close our square brackets. And what do I mean by that? Well, x times f of x. And now we have left just this thing inside the brackets here with this prime. That's the only thing we have left. And I'm going to cheat just a little bit because I do not want to copy all that again. I'm feeling a little bit lazy. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. Give me one second. And what I'm going to do is just erase this here and fill in what, so pretend I've just rewritten all that, opening bracket, and now I come to the derivative of this. The derivative of x is 1 times f of x left alone, product rule here, right, plus x left alone times the derivative of f, which is just f prime of x. And there we go. I close this bracket to match that, and then I close the square bracket. So wow, what a mess. But now we're, we're in a position to find f prime of 1, f prime of 1, well, all I'm going to do here is replace all occurrences of x by 1. But notice, though, that, you know, if I put 1 here, 1 times that is just that, right? So I don't even really have to write the 1 here. Multiplying by 1 doesn't change anything, so I'm going to write f here. And 1 times this is just that as well, so this is like f of 1, okay? All right, three brackets there. Uh, times, this 1 is not doing anything, so I'm not going to write it f of, this 1, I could put it in, but 1 times f of x is still that. And so really, if I put 1 f of 1, that's just f of 1. So that's coming along. Uh, when I put x to be 1 here, again, multiplication by 1 doesn't change anything, so there's no real reason for me to write it. So I'll just continue on. Uh, 1 f of 1 is again f of 1. And how about over here? Well, 1 this 1 is not doing anything, so I just have f of 1 here. Plus, this 1 multiplication doesn't do anything, so there's no reason for me to write it, and I just have f prime of 1. Close this, and then close that. All right. So this is coming. Uh, let's try to put in some values. We're given all this information here, right? What is f of 1? f of 1 is 2. So this value here is really just 2, right? So this is really f of 2, and what is f of 2? It's 3. And what is f prime of 3? f prime of 3 is 6. So this, this entire thing works out to 6. 
Why is that again? f of 1 is 2, f of 2 is 3, and f prime of 3 is 6. So that's good. Uh, well, how about over here? f of 1 is 2, and so this is really f of 2. What is f of 2? It's 3. So this part here is just 3 plus uh, f of 1 again is 2, f prime of 2 is 5. That's a number we haven't used yet. And f of 1, as we have saw, is 2, and f prime of 1 is 4. So I think this is what we have, and now it's easy. Uh, 2 plus 4 is 6, times 5 is 30, 33. What is 33 times 6? 198. Let me just double check this here. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 3, 33 times 6. Yeah, everything looks okay there. So that was a little bit brutal, but uh, if you understood that, then your chain rule must be getting pretty good.